Most of our diagnosis is made by what we call non-invasive methods, basically where a small probe or transducer is merely put on the chest and using ultrasonic um, uh, energy waves, basically, an image of the heart is produced. And we have other more sophisticated methods uh, which involve the use of um, magnetic resonance image and also the cardiac catheterization laboratory when we need very specific information about the heart's defect. What's evolved over also in our field over time is that the cardiac catheterization laboratory has largely gone from a diagnostic area to a therapeutic area.